Do you go with one fried egg or two fried eggs? Two, two, fried, two fried eggs. Two fried eggs. I like the style. Oh, dude, I need cheese involved in this. Maybe some, like, caramelized onions and cheese, like, mixed together. Put them on top of the eggs. With a little spinach. Throw, throw oh. the bacon. Oh, I put some spinach in there, too. Throw the bacon on top of that. Sandwich the shit. Oh. Make a triple decker. Oh, fried egg. Oh, so, so good. Got us some rice. Deliciously cold breakfast of rice and beans and so much of it. Generous portions. gives us 1,600 calories. One and a half pounds of yellow rice gives us 2,000 roughly. But still, like 3,600 calories split amongst four people is not good enough for our daily value. With just one bag of yellow rice, one bag of black beans, and a few bananas for the wheat, we're eating only one third of the food we should be. Is there any way we could afford more food on our dollar a day budget? La gente de aquí comen maíz porque es muy barato. Eh, comida es muy caro. So this is 15 pounds of corn, so it just makes tortillas, tortillas, tortillas for everyone to be able to feel full. This is pretty much what they survive on. We're gonna see if we can uh, find some corn down here. Corn is significantly cheaper than our original budget of rice. For the same price, get a lot more food, which we're all very excited about. Perfecto. Nos vemos. Gracias. Gracias. So today's really exciting. Uh, Rosa came over bright and early and uh, is going to teach us how to make some tortillas. After we cooked it, we're getting it ready to grind it at the Molino, which is up the hill. And we'll grind it into a paste. Tortillas were making a huge difference in our lives, and we found a way to get even more calories into this diet. Ah, que bien. Mmm. Oh, we just got lard. We think that this will help us, you know, basically doubles our fat content. Now we're each eating close to 2,000 calories, and our diet of tortillas and lard is more like what our neighbors eat every day. Even though we feel more full, does this diet have the nutrition we need to be healthy? Guatemala is the highest rate of malnutrition in all of Latin America, and the fourth highest in the world. But what does it mean to be malnourished? There are two types of malnutrition. Acute malnutrition is not getting enough food. And chronic malnutrition is not getting the right balance of vitamins and nutrients. While not many Guatemalans look starved from acute malnutrition, over half the children in Guatemala are chronically malnourished before they turn five. Most of these children are the indigenous poor who survive on a diet of just salt and tortillas. Tortillas are both cheap and traditional, but they provide none of the essential vitamins and nutrients that come from fruits, vegetables, and proteins. Da suficiente nutrición a los niños? Eh, solo tortilla, los niños no da nutrición. Como sus hijos de Víctor, ellos no tienen dinero para comprar comida, solo tortilla con sal y con café. Malnutrition can start before you're even born. Sometimes pregnant mothers can't afford extra or better food. Their babies are born smaller, weaker, and underdeveloped. Without vitamins, these kids won't physically grow very big, which is called stunting. Without a strong immune system, even simple colds are hard to fight off. Malnutrition can have mental and psychological problems too, affecting learning and memory, and causing depression or OCD. A malnourished child simply does not have the same mental or physical potential to succeed as an adult or provide their family with more nutritious food. In this way, malnutrition perpetuates a cycle of poverty from one generation to the next. 
among a global population of 7 billion. Enough food is produced every year to feed 12 billion. But millions still live every day without enough to eat. Many of these people can't afford the food that's grown right around them. How are these food prices set? And why does cost isolate starving people from extra food that goes to waste? What would happen in Peña Blanca if corn became twice as expensive? We seem to have more questions now than we have answers. But we do know that sharing a meal brings people together, no matter where you are or how much you have. Perfecto, okay. We got 20 more of each for our tomalitos. What? Tenemos tamalitos! Yeah. <laughs> oh, because of her. Muchísimas yeah. gracias. Por nada. Oh, gracias. 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 Sí, así es. muy rico ustedes. Sí. Oh, no, pero no es. No, es como el mismo de Rosa. Rosa es el mejor cocinero en el mundo. Sí.